So I want to talk about this LC charger. I'm really excited about it because I am a MP7 fanboy. And it's probably because I have that I want what I can't have kind of thing going on with the MP7. But there are a lot of people who are madly in love with the MP7 and can't stand the fact that HK won't sell the MP7 in any type of configuration to the public. That's neither here nor there. Because what Ruger has done has given me the same level of excitement or jubilation as if I could have possibly owned a semi-automatic version of an MP7. And that is the LC Charger. This excites me in a way that kind of incites my inner gun enthusiast on that ground level of not necessarily, oh, I want this for self-defense or, oh, I need this for some specific utility purpose, but because it's fun. Before you finish watching this video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Bulletproof Everyone. Bulletproof Everyone is an American body armor manufacturer and supplier. Its soft body armor is designed and built for everyday wear. Bulletproof Everyone's tailor-made clothing system adds additional security by keeping you incognito and under the radar. Work or play, Bulletproof Everyone has got the armor system to fit your everyday lifestyle and everyday budget. Thanks again to Bulletproof Everyone for sponsoring this video. Because now what I can do is make my own version of an MP7. <laughs> and what they've done is they've released their LC charger carbine, their LC carbine, in a pistol configuration. So now you can go ahead and SBR this bad boy, put a stock on it, and then you essentially have what is, what some like to probably term as a poor man's MP7, because this is relatively, not relatively, it's incredibly more affordable than say an MP7. The biggest difference on the LC Charger versus the carbine is the fact that it doesn't have a stock and then it has a 10 inch barrel versus a 16 inch barrel and about a four and a half inch hand rail. Now, everything else is pretty much the same. You get your non-recipient cable charging handle. The gun is completely ambidextrous. You could flip the magazine release to the other side. Um, same trigger, same 20 round mag capacity, um, same safety lever. Everything is the same. Same full length top rail system, just a shortened version of it considering the barrel length. But by and large, it's the same gun, except now it's just smaller and cuter. There's no denying, it's kind of goofy shooting the LC, <laughs> LC charger without a stock or a brace on it. Um, you know, just, just the way it's set up. Could you do it? Yes, you could put a sling on, have a bungee sling and then punch out, or if not have a bungee sling, and you can just punch out one handed and shoot the gun because the gun recoil is very light. So you could easily punch it out with one hand, put your red dot on the target and squeeze the trigger, or use two hands and shoot it that way. Very doable, it just looks goofy. What I plan to do and what I've already started is I've started the process to SBR this bad boy. And what I'm going to try to do is basically create what I would do if I actually had an MP7. The 5.7 round is an interesting round because a lot of people like to talk about it from the standpoint of, oh, it's not a very good self-defense round or, oh, it's a terrible self-defense round. And you could find videos, articles, studies, everything that tell you one way or the other. Me personally, I don't really care about the self-defense capabilities of the 5.7 to the degree that some people do. Um, I, I say, considering it is a bullet, it's moving at a high rate of speed, I think just about anything can be a self-defense round. Just depends on how effective that self-defense round is compared to other rounds. I like the idea of the 5.7. I like the fact that you do have this small, incredibly fast-moving bullet that has the, has the possibility of defeating certain types of barriers that other rounds wouldn't be able to depending on which version of the round you end up getting. But the like Jubilee play school, like fun version of me when it comes to being a gun guy or the inner ammo sexual in me, loves the idea of being able to take this thing and like I'm probably gonna end up putting a light on this bad boy, probably putting a, um, end up putting a laser on here as well. Of course, I'm gonna put a stock, probably put a tape switch, switch on here as well in order to modulate my light and my lasers. And then of course with this threaded barrel, I'd be able to suppress it. You can't tell me that, imagine what this thing looks like with a stock, with a light, and then a laser, and then a, and then a suppressor, and then if you wanted to, a, a, maybe a different hand stop here. And then you got 20 rounds of 5.7 in a very compact, because I'm gonna definitely run a stock that's collapsible. I mean, you can't really beat it from just a pure enjoyment of shooting standpoint, because this thing recoils lighter than any nine millimeter PCC. So 
from that perspective, I think I really, really, really look forward to freaking this thing out. Is essentially what I'm trying to tell you. And so, like I said, I started the process already and I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna put on there. And I really applaud Ruger for doing this because I think we kind of live in an age right now where the gun is constantly, constantly being put in this box of negativity. And I understand why, I'm not stupid. I understand that there are people out there doing bad things with firearms, but I got into firearms because I enjoyed them from a use enjoyment standpoint. I enjoyed going to the range. I enjoyed tricking them out and putting different things on them while at the same time knowing it had the ability to be a self-defense item. That's what guns were for me. And so this kind of brings back some of the joy and the fun involved in firearms in a way that I haven't really experienced in a while because like I said, everything keeps thrown into a box of negativity. And then that 5.7 round, the fact that it is debatably a good defense round or not good defense round, but then it's really fun to shoot, very easy to shoot. I like that. I like that kind of gray area. It makes it fun for me. Um, Cause now I don't have to put this in any category. I can do whatever I want. It doesn't have to make sense. There are a lot of people out there who are extremely sensitive to recoil. And even a pistol caliber carbine chambered in nine millimeter is a little too much. If you take something like this, high, high, small, fast moving bullet, that does a much better job in terms of stopping power than say a 22. I don't think you can beat this LC charger in a stock configuration or even in a brace configuration. So I just wanted to talk about this really quickly because I'm really excited about it. Ruger just released it. Um, I tried to get it in my hands as fast as possible so I can start the SBR process on it because I want to put a stock on this thing because I think it'll look really, really, really sexy. Um, so there you have it, the Ruger LC charger. Eesh. Wait till you see what I do with this bad boy. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.